President Obama's new war strategy for Afghanistan is being well received by America's NATO allies in Europe. The former commander of NATO security forces in southern Afghanistan, Major General Marte Cruyff, told reporters at the Pentagon Monday the deployment of additional troops demonstrates a strong U.S. commitment. It shows us two things. First, uh, uh, there is a, there's a very clear understanding of the concept, uh, how we want to secure Afghanistan. And secondly, there is a clear political will to have success in Afghanistan. The former commander said he also supports the deployment of additional civilian capabilities to Afghanistan. And Admiral Mike Mullen is in Afghanistan to discuss the war plan. Master Sergeant Mike Burnett has the latest from our Pentagon Bureau. In the wake of President Obama's strategy for Afghanistan, Admiral Mike Mullen, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, recently visited downrange to discuss a key part of that strategy to add an additional 30,000 troops to the region. He said he had met with U.S. Marines in Camp Lejeune in North Carolina before coming to Kabul and warned them to prepare for a tough fight. Admiral Mullen also asked the Marines to learn all they can about the Afghan culture and customs. Because in my view, and that of General McChrystal, the Afghan people, their needs, their perceptions, and above all, their actions, are and must remain the center of gravity in this conflict. To prevent future Taliban rule, Admiral Mullen said, we must protect the Afghan people and put their lasting security first. They must know and they must feel safe, safe enough to stand against the intimidation and brutality of the Taliban. Admiral Mullen meets with Afghan President Hamid Karzai later Monday and intends to visit Islamabad later in the week. From the Pentagon, Master Sergeant Mike Burnett. The Department of Defense has released recruiting and retention numbers for November. The Army had more than 7,000 accessions, the Marine Corps had more than 1,700, the Air Force 2,800, and the Navy had more than 3,200. In the reserve component, the Army Guard or Army National Guard had more than 3,300 accessions, while the Navy reported more than 600, the Air National Guard had more than 500, and Air Force Reserve had more than 700. Army Reserve has more than 2,700 accessions, and the Marine Corps Reserve had more than 700. The Oregon Army National Guard is helping with the search for two missing hikers on Mount Hood. An aerial surveillance team comprised of Civil Air Patrol, Oregon Army National Guard, and the U.S. Coast Guard has assessed avalanche conditions near a remote area where the hikers disappeared. A UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter launched from an Army Aviation Support Facility Monday to also assist in the search. The North American Aerospace Defense Command plans to conduct a flight exercise Tuesday over the nation's capital. The flights will take place around midnight and continue through the early morning hours. Residents can expect to hear and see aircraft. The exercise will test NORAD's rapid response capability. Coming up ahead on Around the Services, Cowboy Glitz. See how the rodeo is honoring the military. But first, more flu fears. There's another health danger from the H1N1 virus. We'll explain. Stick around. Sergeant Ted McDonald is back with more.